y'all this is my second time recording this entire chit chat truth be told i think my camera is on her last leg i think she's got done because it's not recognizing memory cards. What I'm telling you, if it's over, I'm not gonna be in the mood to buy new equipment, y'all. I can, but I'm not gonna be in the mood to do it. I'm just saying. So we're gonna pray for our camera. You know, buy your heads. Father, Lord, we ask you right now, Father, to go ahead and heal this camera, dear Lord. You are Alpha and Omega. See her through. And this I pray, amen. Amen, you received that, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop playing um, because we don't play with God, not around here. So you guys, we are heading into July. Um, I am overwhelmed. I am excited for the remainder of the year. A quick testimony. Those of you who follow my vlogs, you will get this in my vlog too. Your girl got an email last week from my human resources HR. They basically said, I am up for a, what do they call it? A workplace adjustment um, basically I think what they what that means is they look at other positions or other people who have similar positions in my area and I need to be adjusted a little bit more hold on I don't know if that means if I'm gonna get less some more than no no we ain't gonna do that I'm gonna get more <laughs> so yeah I want to make sure y'all I'm paranoid I'm paranoid yeah you have been identified to receive a compensation increase ain't God good y'all I again I'm gonna be explaining this in my vlog but I literally was just talking to my husband too and I was saying how you know again being disobedient and not really thinking that I could you know pay the mortgage on my own and I verbatim said now if I get a promotion I'll be okay and look at God like that okay so thank you lord so that's going on but anyway y'all know how we do with these chit chats we talk about what's going on in my personal life which i started talk about what i'm watching on youtube and then we talk about what i'm watching on tv now it's the end of the day i have me a little drinky drink uh y'all see my nails yes these are some nails now these are not staying on well you guys um so personal life is what we're going to talk about first I've been doing my nails, but they're not staying on right. So I have advanced to doing my own press on nails. And this go around, I'm going to use this cute little foil. Let me see if this can zoom in. Do y'all see this? Isn't this adorable? Little bitty angels, a red and green background. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a white and green with a little bit of sparkle for my nails and I'll show y'all what that looks like of course I always post it on Instagram but y'all have to understand I'm a girly girl like most of the men who see me or most of the most of the men that have tried to hit up on me before and after I was married one thing they say and even my husband even though he's not really big into that is that you know I've always gotten the from the opposite sex you are not necessarily high maintenance I do think I'm a little high maintenance but you're put together from top to bottom. I'm like that. I've always had my nails done, my feet stay done. I just, you know, I'm just like that. Hair stay, when I, when I am going somewhere, I clean up. Girl, I posted on Instagram, my mama uniforms, y'all see this is what I have on, my mama uniforms. They make them now at Walmart with pockets. Y'all saw me, I posted a video on my Instagram. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, baby, when I saw that, excuse me, I didn't notice it until I got at home when I tried it on. I was so excited, y'all. I, I, that really made my week. And so when my husband woke his ass up, cause he, he doesn't like these things, girl. He ain't here, but I'm whispering. He don't like these. He don't like it. When he woke up, I was like, hey, do you see this? They got pockets now. And he's looking at me like, what? I said, yeah. They got pockets. This is a game changer. Y'all, he just looked at me. <laughs> he just looked at me and started shaking his head. He's like, well, what do you mean it's a game changer? I said, um, this me. This is me. This is what I'm wearing all day. I Thank you. You, we got at least another 40 years in this piece. And he's like, no, nah, mm -mm. Yeah, he started shaking his head. I'm like, look, he even said, I don't know if y'all caught it on the video. It's on my Instagram. <sighs> I wanted to edit out. He's like, you might as well just walk around naked. Uh, no playboy. You already know what I look like. Imagination. Use your imagination, Alex. This is a tease. This is a... <laughs> it has come to my awareness recently. Like, the past two weeks. I have discovered that I am not really 5'4". 
this is the thing i have a napoleon napoleon complex i view myself bigger than honestly in my head i i be telling y'all i'm five four and i really did think i was five four but when i was five four in my head i thought i was five eight and some ch like seriously that's <laughs> baby the only way only reason excuse me why i remeasure myself is that jb is tall for his age my baby's four seven so i was like let me see what's the difference between between us so i put myself up against the wall i put a little sticky note up there right i put my i put him up and put a little sticky note and i we both turned around and looked at it and he burst out laughing he said mama you're just only this this much in between me i said no 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 that's not right Some, something's not right let me go ahead let's get the tape measure out let's go ahead and officially measure you and then we'll measure myself oh my baby's this dyslexic so i'm like make sure you read the first letter the first number and then the second number baby he said okay mama he said oh it says you five three no no, no it says you it says five two a five minute two i said nah, uh uh that ain't my husband sitting on the couch with his lanky ass just looking at me shaking his head y'all know i'm silly so we have found a real estate agent out here in phoenix so those of you who are not aware we plan on moving back to texas hopefully in the springtime of next year and we're now trying to find a real estate agent in the dfw area area if you know of any great good real estate agents in the area please drop it down below we are looking for recommendations um and we want someone who's familiar with the forney area that is headed towards east texas so that's going um on we're starting back school we're doing a little bit of summer school for the next two weeks we're going hard with it just a review of second grade for jb and then i'm going to give him just a few days off and then we're going to go into reading and math until the end of august i'm trying to figure out when i want our next school year to start i think what i want at the end of august and so that's what i'm going to be really busy doing is planning our next career our next school year so one of the things that i'm finding is absolutely necessary as a teacher because i don't know y'all this is what was my first year homeschooling is that it's absolutely necessary to review previous lessons and to build up on what was already taught because they just need that repetitive so um for example <clears throat> i just can't pull out a worksheet and say okay go ahead and and find all of the different adverbs i need to go over what an adverb is what a verb is what he knows what a verb are now um as far as grammar goes i just can't say okay go ahead and find out the adjectives you know something that's not as common but once he gets it and i remind him what it is he's good y'all with my husband out traveling and i think i've briefly mentioned this he's going to be a traveling med tech he's not going to go do a traditional eight to five job that way he can spend you know take three whatever how long three to four months being a traveling med tech take a month going back over to kenya um and then come back and work and we will actually also be going back and forth with him too um not back and forth a lot but as a family we're gonna make a trip to kenya as a family probably in the summertime in two more years so yeah that's what's going on so y'all that's it with the personal stuff everything's going well justine still doesn't like that i show up to people's houses on and <laughs> we have a neighbor y'all first of all so when the pandemic first hit the way i am on here baby is the way i am in, in, in person so when the pandemic first hit i would go over to Ms. Lori's house a lot because they didn't have a lot of visitors and we were the only ones that was our place and so another neighbor was like i understand that there's a certain person that shows up to people's houses unannounced and she just barges in and be loud girl i was acting like porsche i'm like who's that who did that who who did i was i was like who did that she was talking about me so she made another comment recently that well at least i'm not like somebody who just shows up unannounced child that's why i said you guys there will always be as bubbly as my personality is and i think i'm a likable person but there will always be some people who don't like you and that's okay that's okay anyway y'all okay so what i'm watching on youtube girl nothing now i don't watch married to medicine but child i do catch me some dr heavenly with her petty stuff y'all hater or lover 
Dr. Heavenly is extremely entertaining. I will say that. She's very entertaining. And like I said, I don't watch the show anymore. But baby, I think she may be talking a little bit too much sometimes because they can't be revealing everything on the show. So she's very smart. I think that Dr. Heavenly is, is a intelligent woman and i think it's smart that she reviews her own show so i like that so i do watch her reviews of the show um i recently described describe i recently subscribed to a brother named carlos king and he does reaction videos y'all have y'all been reading about this ppe loan scams going on so there's his sister her name is patricia what is her name I just subscribed to her. I can't find her, y'all. Let me see if I can find her. I think her name was Patrice, Patrice Stewart. Very intelligent, very smart woman. So she had this video, but this is what people are, uh, what, who he was reacting to, I'm sorry, her video. So I guess people decided that they would have these fake companies hire fake employees stating that they make $100,000. Whoever fills out the application is filling this information out, right? You pay that person who fills out your application $5,000. They say that you got some uh, company where you make $100,000 to $200,000 in PE loan. Are y'all crazy? So you got people getting twenty thousand dollars. I I read another comment where someone said that they knew it was someone who got like over a hundred thousand dollars. Are you serious? Y'all gotta be careful. And so this sister was educating the mass. She's educating the masses, and she's like a couple of years ago. Um, they were working on having all of the government systems to communicate to each other. So if you're getting housing, if you're getting food stamps, now if you do a PPE loan, they know your ass ain't making $100,000 a year. So they're going to come after you. FBI, whoever, they're going to come after y'all. That is sad to see our brothers and sisters fall fall for that now. So what else am I watching on YouTube? Girls started watching a little bit of Tati. Tati is a makeup artist. Started to watch some of her videos, y'all. Nancy told me she was only 30-something. She looks older than that. I thought she was in her 40s. Um, she's very talented. I was watching the video where Scott was doing her makeup. And he's very talented, too. He does makeup almost like an artist. And she is his canvas. He's very, very talented. Um, Scott, what is his last name? Scott Barnes. He is the makeup artist uh, for... Jennifer Lopez, non acting ass. Yes, I said it. She's an entertainer, but she can't act. She cannot sing. That's about it. Um, <laughs> uh, nothing else I'm watching on YouTube, girl. I was having issues with my computer, and um, the guy was trying to take off McAfee on my system. And I just remember. That John McAfee, is his name John? Yeah, John McAfee supposedly committed suicide. Do y'all believe that? Hmm? I don't believe that man committed suicide. I really don't. I now, I do think that he did kill his um, neighbor. There was like some scandalous stuff that happened a couple of years ago. And he's been island hopping. Now, was he the one that had the island where people like Epstein and I think even Clinton name was in it. He had like a private island. McAfee had this private island where he would have certain type of parties. So I think he's in that lifestyle. Oh, and by the way, his wife was black. Like he married a sister. I don't know if she's African American, but she's black is my whole point. Um, they had a video, it's still on YouTube, I believe. Her name begins with a J. It's either Jane or Janice. John McAfee lost a lot of money. He wasn't worth as much money as I thought he was at one point he was worth a hundred million dollars not so much um so yeah girl he apparently committed suicide which I don't believe I don't buy it um what was he at yeah, was it Brazil believe at one point I think he was even he said that people were trying to kill him in Belize what is that the board the south very south america my girlfriend's originally from Belize y'all know who's else from Belize I know I'm all over the place um Deep, deep voice. He has a deep voice. He was with Sean P. Diddy and them. His name begins with an S. Sean. Yeah, that was his name. Yeah, his butt was from Belize. My girlfriend used to date a brother from Belize. So anyway, y'all. Um, poor McAfee. Yeah, his his time. He even said it. See, you you can't play around. 
with this. He even said a couple of years ago, I think it's been about five years, that if he wanted to, he could spill the dirt on, on the government. If he wanted to, he could. Don't don't say that. Don't do not do that. So y'all, my battery light is blinking. Let me hear up and tell y'all what I'm watching. Good girls, child, they cancel good girls. Let me tell you something. After the second season, the, rap, the writing was trash. We wanted a Rio. I told y'all, I wanted Rio and Beth to get together. And it was just trash. They couldn't, the storylines just went downhill after the second season. I watched a show, I believe it was on Hulu, called False Positive with Pierce Brosnan, the Irish actor. Good look. He's still fine, girl. Yes. That was a weird ass movie. Demonic, too. Weird ass. Continuing with The Handmaid's Tale, I'm watching a new series on Netflix called Manifest. It's okay, but hmm. Luca, we saw the Disney movie Luca. It was so cute. I started to watch the trial of Gabriel Fernandez. When I tell you, I can't do it. Ten minutes into it, I was a mess. We're gonna keep going. Um, so what I've added to my list is Ice Road and K Hart's old ass, short ass, and I guess I can't call him short anymore. No, nah, I'm short. I'm I'm taller than him. Um, what is his name, y'all? Kevin Hart and Fatherhood. So I know I'm kind of rushing this, but my battery is slow. That's what I'm watching. What are y'all watching on TV? There really ain't not not a lot going on. So that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.